What's going on? It's Sky, and welcome to another BTD Battles video, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but Ninja Kiwi, even though they've just announced that they are developing BTD Battles 2, and we've just received update 6.10 not that long ago, they've just released update 6.11, and... As you can see, when you enter the game for the first time, you'll see this message. Uh, and I'm not going to read it all out, but it basically says we've got two new maps. One of them is uh, club members only, and one of them is free for all. Uh, and now I'm not too sure whether the map that was released in update 6.10, which was Shipwreck, was uh, members only or free for all. Um, but all I can tell you is that there is something for everyone in this one. We've got Farmyard, which is the free to access one, and I'm just looking at it right now. I mean, look at those spot spots here, and the water spot that looks beautiful for uh, Buccaneers. We've got Farmyard, which looks insane, uh, and we've got another one called Shipyard, which I can't really see much of here, but uh, this is my first time opening this. I Honestly, I, I just saw this, and I was like, oh my god, I've got to make a video. This is insane! Um, but I will go into further detail about all the patch notes and things that are going on later and a detailed review well a detailed review i'll go over uh, both of the maps but honestly this is insane and uh even more importantly is something uh else that they've added in which uh, i'll go over that at the end of the video so yeah stay tuned <laughs> A few of the towers have been changed in this update. If you have a look at the Monkey Buccaneer and the 4-0 upgrade for it, the aircraft carrier, that has been, well, it's not really buffed and it's not really nerfed. Essentially, the planes that come for it, or the helicopters if you have the skin, move half as fast but do twice as much damage. So the overall DPS has kind of stayed the same. It might have really risen. I don't really no. I think it's kind of stayed the same because it spends half of its time looking away and half of its time looking at the stuff that it's popping. So yeah, it hasn't really been buffed and it hasn't really been nerfed. They've just changed it, which I don't really understand too well. Another tower that has been changed is the village. The 4 year upgrade for it has been nerfed from 50% uh, cooldown reduction to 30%. But the beacon itself now does twice as much damage. So that has actually been buffed in the sense that the village is a lot more powerful. However, the effect it has on nearby towers has been reduced. As you can see, it is pretty damn beautiful now. And last but not least, uh, a quite unexpected thing that they've buffed slash nerfed is the lots of glue. Now, you can only use three of them as opposed to what you could use before, which was five. But... The lots of glue is now corrosive and can pop four layers of balloon. So if you send a load of pinks at it, it will pop them all the way down from pink layer to yellows to greens to blues. I'm timing this very badly here <laughs> from blues to reds. And then the reds will be allowed through. So four layers of uh, balloon can be popped with a lot of glue. You get less uses of it, but it, I think that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good upgrade there. Because obviously it's lots of glue, it lasts for quite a while. That's pretty useful, I like that. There have been a few other patches and updates to the amount that certain upgrades and towers cost uh, and their effects. I'll just put them up on the screen here on the right. Feel free to pause the video uh, to catch all of the different screenshots because there are quite a lot. But I think it's now time to move on to the different maps. So I think we'll start on Farmyard, uh, and as you can see, it's a pretty nice map. There are some very nice spot spots. I mean, along this line, along the bottom line, along this line, along here, down, along basically every single part of the track is a spot spot, which I think is insane. So DFA is definitely going to be the meta for this map, 100%, there is no doubt, and unfortunately I can't play it. Um, but it looks beautiful, and yeah, there's a nice water spot there for Buccaneer if you want it, but you, you won't be using it because if you're any good at the game, which I'm not. You will be playing DFA. <laughs> Alright, we have someone else then. Uh, and we'll try out Shipyard. Uh, I, I, I just want to defend myself here and say I'm not actually trying. I'm just showcasing the map. I, I'm not trying to make this a really long video or anything. Uh, but yeah, anyway, Shipyard. Uh, it's not as nice really as the other one. I think Cobra, maybe? I don't know. It depends on how placements up here work. Uh, if it's any good, then probably Cobra. If not, then it'll be Takwiz Farm. And even then, I'm not seeing that many farm spots. So, I don't know. I'm going to play it safe and I'm going to go Takwiz Farm. Um, and then see how this works. I really hope it's... Uh, I really hope those top spots are actual spots and not blocked off by that stupid thing in the way. It's a crane. Is it? Is it blocked off? It is blocked off. Oh, that was almost that was almost very nice there. 
All right, well, we'll put a, I'll put a tax shooter there. I know I should have probably farmed first. Like I say, it's been a few days since I've played Bloons, so I'm a bit rusty. Um, even more rusty than usual, but you know. Uh, we're on Bonanza anyway, so I can I can kind of just dick around with money. It's okay. Uh, anyway, yeah, we'll put up a uh, farm up here if I didn't waste all my money on upgrades. <laughs> God, I haven't played in a while. It's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to showcase the maps, not to win. All right, okay. This is that's it. That's it. I promise. I promise. I'm I'm not trying to win, because if I was, then that'd be kind of bad. Um. Anyway, no. We'll try and get our farm up here. I've got to say, I don't really like this map as much as the other one. I've been. I, I don't know. I don't really like Dread Bloom, and I don't really like all the boring, you know, straight line maps. And this seems pretty boring to me. It just seems like a big inconvenience of a map, you know. It's like loads of potential spots like this. And oh well, this this can be used. That can't be used. Uh, mind you, not that you would really want this as a spot. Like I can't see why you would want to put something there. But you know, it's it's a bit. I, I think both of these maps, now that I'm looking at it, they're pretty nicely designed. Um, but both of them waste a few spots. I feel like they've tried a bit too hard here to make them, um, genuinely competitive. I'm not too keen on these maps. I like the, uh, sh I like Shipwreck, um, because it had pretty good placements. Granted, it didn't have many farm spots, if any, it had, like, one or two. Um, but at least it had loads of placement for water, uh, for, you know, water towers. This doesn't, really, and it's a bit annoying. Uh, tell you what, let's just get a lightning up here. Uh, because green, greens, I don't like greens. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just get some lightnings to go against that. But yeah, I've, I've got to say, I'm not too happy, uh, with this map. Again, the, the, the farmyard one, uh, it's all right. It's not too bad. It could do with some more spots. Uh, but this one is just, it, it goes left and then it goes right a bit and then it goes back down. There's not much to it. Uh, and like I said, that's why I don't like Dreadloon. It's just a boring map. It goes zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. It's like, it, it could be anything. You could use any strategy you want on it and it'll work. On this map, it's just another short map with inconvenient spots. I'm not too... I, I don't know. I don't really like it as much. Um, but like I say, Farmyard is alright. It, it still has the issue of being just loads of inconvenience. But at least it's got placements and, and, and genuine strategies that you can actually use on it. You know, it's 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 all right. Uh but anyway, yeah, let's uh let's just see what I can do here with uh with this because honestly I don't think I'm gonna win this one. I know I should have rushed a while ago, but I don't think that's a really good spot spot. So let's just see what let's see what we can do. Let's just see what we can do. I don't think that's a good spot spot to be honest. So let's just see how it does. Um am I gonna get the dub on this? Oh 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 oh, oh. Oh, he's boosting as well. Ah, oh, wow, we got a dub. Anyway, yeah, that's basically... That is both of these maps. Um, you know, I like the farmyard one. It's got decent placements. It doesn't have many farm placements when it should, and that's annoying. And shipyard is just crap, really. It's boring. Uh, there's no placements as well for anything, really, of any use. Um, and honestly, I think the only redeeming thing about it is it's not got that whole aspect of, uh, Dreadbloom where you can use any strategy you want and you'll get away with it. On this, at least, you, you have to be choosy. But still, I think these could have been better if they weren't too particular with where you could put towers down. And now for the big thing. I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but when you create tournaments, you now have the option to make them boosts only and disable four towers. And you can mess with the power cooldown as well, which is something you used to only be able to do on the 1v1s, which I think is insane. That is what we've wanted for a long time. It's beautiful. Um, and I'm not going to be doing a tournament in my video. I, I will be streaming. Um where I will be doing tier 0 no force tournaments uh, to showcase them. So if you want to see this in action, uh, tune in tomorrow. I will be live tomorrow doing this uh, throughout. So I hope you enjoy it. But anyway, yes, that is, uh, in a nutshell, the update 6.11 that they've just released for Bloons. It is insane. It's everything we've wanted. Like I say, I'm a bit disappointed with the maps. Um, Farmyard seems kind of fun. Um, shipyard is just boring. I think they were both wasted opportunities, but I don't care because this is what we've wanted for a long time. And oh my God, they've finally done it. Despite them developing Bloons TD Battles 2 and despite us getting an update not that long ago, they've just kept at it. I have to say, 
Huge props to NK for actually listening to their community and implementing the updates we all want to see. But anyway, thank you all so much. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, then please subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. But until next time, I have been Sky, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.